What is up everybody, welcome back to another video, my name is Temple Arts and in this video I'll be teaching you guys on how to use the RGB effect in Photoshop. So I'm going to be teaching you how to do this on Magic Bullet Looks and Steven's going to be showing you a way how to not do it on Magic Bullet Looks. So yeah guys, if you could subscribe to me, my link's down below and let's just jump straight into this video. So the first thing you're going to do is press filter and then you're going to go down to Magic Bullet Looks and then click Photo Looks. Now let this load. So when it loads up guys, it should look something like this or if it's an outdated version or an even updated version, it should look something similar to this now i'm going to click on lens and then go to the side and as you can see on on this top color it says lens as i'm selected on lens so i'm going to click chromatic aberration if that's how you say it guys correct me if i'm wrong in the comments down below you're just going to left click on it and drag it down to the lens section here now here at the bottom right as you can see it says so it says all these colors guys and what you can do with it is just click on the number and drag and you can type in a number that you would like don't go too over the top with it, guys, because it may look a bit bad. You want to, like, keep it arranged uh, 10 and 1 and all that stuff like that. So I'm going to put this red one to 0. You can copy what I'm doing, guys. These are specifically uh, for logos. So, guys, what you're going to do from here is press 2 at the bottom and then maybe range this to 3 to 1. So maybe put 1 or 3, whatever uh, you're feeling. So these are settings I've done. I've, do I've done 2.5 and 1. You can copy my settings down, guys, uh, and use this green one here. And say if it was a black and white um, design, you don't want to use any other colour but green, because green looks the best on black and white colours. So guys, I really do hope this did help you in some way, if you have magic bullet looks and you didn't know how to do it. Hopefully this did help you, and this is another way. So Stephen's going to show you a better way how to use it. So let's pass it over to Stephen, guys, and I'll see you um, on my channel. Peace out.